Welcome to Catching Up with Vet Candy, where we're revolutionizing the way you see veterinary medicine. From groundbreaking discoveries to inspiring stories, we're here to empower the future of animal health. I'm Dr. Alon Armstrong. And I'm Dr. Shannon Gregoire. Today, we're bringing you the stories that are shaping the veterinary world. So get ready to be inspired because we have the hottest news for you. This show is brought to you by Zoetis. For years, canine epilepsy has been one of the most challenging neurological disorders to manage, often leaving veterinarians and pet owners searching for better solutions. But what if the key to controlling seizures lies not just in the brain, but in the gut? Emerging research is uncovering a fascinating link between gut health and neurological function suggesting that an imbalance in gut microbiota, or dysbiosis, could play a significant role in exacerbating epilepsy. The gut and brain are intricately connected through the gut-brain axis, a complex network of metabolic, neural, and immune pathways. When this communication is disrupted, it can lead to a cascade of effects, including increased seizure activity. Recent studies are diving deep into this connection, revealing that a healthy gut microbiome may be just as important for neurological stability as it is for digestion. Here are the key findings from recent research. Dysbiosis and seizures. Imbalances in gut bacteria have been linked to increased inflammation and altered neurotransmitter production, both of which can contribute to seizure activity. The gut-brain access. The gut microbiome influences brain health through pathways like the vagus nerve, immune signaling, and the production of metabolites such as short-chain fatty acids, or SCFAs. Potential therapies. Researchers are exploring interventions like probiotics, prebiotics, and dietary changes to restore gut balance and improve seizure control in dogs with idiopathic epilepsy. This groundbreaking research opens up new possibilities for managing canine epilepsy. Here's what you need to know. The role of diet. Diets rich in fiber and prebiotics can promote a healthy gut microbiome, potentially reducing inflammation and improving neurological outcomes. Probiotics and beyond. Specific strains of probiotics are being studied for their ability to modulate the gut-brain axis and reduce seizure frequency. Personalized approaches. Just as every dog's epilepsy is unique, their gut microbiome is too. Tailoring interventions to individual patients may yield the best results. As research progresses, the potential for gut-targeted therapies to complement existing treatments is becoming increasingly clear. For example, a 2022 study found that dogs with idiopathic epilepsy had significantly different microbiomes compared to healthy dogs, suggesting that microbiome modulation could be a viable therapeutic strategy. While the field is still evolving, there are steps you can take to incorporate this new knowledge into practice. Educate clients. Inform pet owners about the potential role of gut health in managing epilepsy and the benefits of a balanced diet. Consider probiotics. Recommend evidence-based probiotic supplements as part of a comprehensive treatment plan. Stay informed. Keep up with the latest research on the gut-brain axis and its implications for epilepsy management. The idea that gut health could influence brain function represents a paradigm shift in veterinary medicine. For dogs with epilepsy, this could mean more effective, holistic treatment options that go beyond traditional medications. As we continue to explore the gut-brain connection, one thing is clear. Epilepsy management may involve the food bowl. Wailani Sung, a board-certified veterinary behaviorist and owner of Bay Area Vet Behavior. Today, I want to talk to you about how cats mask pain with behavior. Cats are adept at concealing their discomfort, posing a challenge for even the most attentive owners to detect subtle signs of pain. Unlike dogs, cats typically do not exhibit overt physical signs of osteoarthritis pain, such as limping. 
Instead, they manifest behavioral changes that are frequently mistaken for age-related issues. Decreased agility, reduced mobility, and alterations in grooming habits are commonly reported signs of feline osteoarthritis, or OA. However, these subtle cues can easily go unnoticed, leading to underdiagnosis and undertreatment. Understanding and recognizing these behaviors is crucial in differentiating pain from behavioral issues in cats. Feline osteoarthritis often remains hidden, with cats masking their pain instinctively. With over 60% of cats over the age of 6 and a staggering 90% of cats over 12 affected by OA, this debilitating condition's prevalence cannot be ignored. However, diagnosing feline OA presents a significant challenge primarily due to the cat's adeptness at concealing their discomfort. Several factors contribute to this challenge, including fewer veterinary visits for cats compared to dogs and low owner awareness of cat-specific pain behavior. Additionally, the elusive nature of feline pain and the difficulty in assessing cat's locomotion during exams further complicate diagnosis. Overcoming these barriers require a proactive approach to screen cats for osteoarthritis pain during annual veterinary exams. Good news! You can screen your patients with the Zoetis Feline OA Pain Checklist, which offers a comprehensive tool for assessing feline OA pain. With six key behavior areas and 14 simple data points, clients can easily recognize their cat's daily life patterns. The checklist prompts clients to assess their cat's difficulty with normal physical actions, such as jumping and running, and score their cat's health and behavior across vital categories. By implementing this checklist during adult feline exams, Veterinarians can engage clients and drive awareness of feline OA pain. Low scores on emotional well-being or vitality can alert the veterinary team to underlying discomfort previously attributed to laziness or old age. Feline pain is a significant yet often overlooked health concern in cats. By recognizing subtle behavioral changes and implementing systematic screening methods during annual exams, veterinarians can improve the early detection and management of OA pain in cats. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. So that's it for today's show. Thank you so much for watching. Want to keep up with the latest? Follow us at MyVetCandy. Bye. Bye.